All right, guys, so we're here at the field. We're gonna set up the Revolution kite. And the first thing we're gonna do is pull out our handle and lines. Now I've already got my handles connected to my lines, but we're gonna show you how to connect the lines to the kite down on the other end. But the first thing we're gonna do is get this unraveled. And then I'm gonna place my handles and lines on my kite stake I've got here. And then we're just gonna run the line all the way down and out to the other side where we're gonna be flying. All right, so we got our lines all the way out. What we're gonna do is take the two pairs. So we've got a, a white solid and a black solid, and then we've got white with red stripes and black with red stripes, and those are gonna stay together as pairs. And so we're just gonna kind of get the lines sort of untangled and then we're just going to drop these here and now we're going to go set up the kite all right so the next step is we're going to pull the kite out of the bag and it is nicely wrapped up for us so we are going to sections. So the first thing we're going to do, sit it down. We're going to have to insert this tube all the way into the middle section. You can see how there's a break there. We need to connect these guys and make sure it's all fully seated inside the tube. So I'm going to wiggle it around. There we go. All right. Once I'm sure that that's fully seated, I'm gonna come over here, make sure this line is not wrapped up, and we're gonna insert this tube right inside, and that's gonna secure the line. And we're just gonna repeat that on the other side. Make sure that this tube gets fully inserted. make sure this line is not tangled and then we're going to insert the tube inside and there we go now what we're going to do is flip the kite over you always want to keep the leading edge upwind so the kite can just flutter around behind you now we're going to be looking for the side with the velcro that's going to be for our support tube springs so what we're going to do is grab this tube and the way you want to use these is you want to make sure the spring is on the inside for the kite. You wouldn't want this over on this side. You want the spring on the inside. And all we're going to do, make sure our line's not tangled. We're going to insert the tube here. We're going to place the Velcro piece down on the kite. Then we're going to come to the bottom. And we're going to make sure that line is not tangled up and wrapped around the support piece. And then we're just going to insert it into the tube. And we're going to do that for the other side. And now our kite is set up and ready to be attached to the lines. Alright, so we've got our kite assembled. And we're going to come over to our lines. And if you'll notice on the bridle, you have a section here. And a section here so this is going to be for the top line and this is going to be for the bottom line and the way we're going to do this is we have our two lines we're going to always make sure that the white think of like clouds is how david told me so white like the clouds is going to go on the top and then this darker one like the ground is going to go on the bottom and the way we attach these is with a lark's head knot so here's how you do that you take this loop you stick your two fingers through it you wrap it around and then you make a knot so now I'm going to attach this to the top line, because this is my white one, and then I'm just going to pull that lark's head knot tight all the way to the end, and now that's secured. Now it's easy to remove as well. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Right inside, 
tighten it up. Now we always want to make sure that we've got our striped lines on the same side and our solid lines on the same side because those match what's going to be on our handles. We're going to do that for the other side now. So we'll make a lark's head, attach the white one to the top set of lines, take our black one, attach it to the bottom. And that's all there is to the setup. Now you just untangle your lines and you're ready to fly.